The visit is intended to cover the geographical work that we can't do in school. Um, living in Wolverhampton, we're an awful long way away from the coast and you can see lots of um, coastal features on the internet and on photographs, but to actually experience the visit is really important for our children. Lots of our children don't visit a coast, coast, lots of them haven't been to a beach. The trip's developed a lot, um, especially over the last few years, because, I mean, now notoriously before we were taking clipboards and sheets and obviously windy days up on a cliff, you're likely to lose your piece of paper, whereas now the children have got the device in their hands and they're walking around and just using the device rather than turn over to the next page, what can you see now, plot the next coastal feature. They can actually see it for themselves on the PDA. They can take uh, a photograph on the PDA or you even use a video. Uh, this piece sticking out into the surface. But can we gather round? And we need to look at the map. I think it's helped the outcomes because the children are far more focused now with map work they're more they're more interested to to get the map on the pdas to look at it to find the symbols to plot the route that they're going on to identify different coastal features that appear on the os map and transfer it that way rather than just sitting down with a textbook and working from that we're there hopefully like jack has he's just told me exactly where we are um, by following his map using the wild key database we can prepare a series of key resources that enable the children to interact with what they find on the trip. So for example, record the key characteristics of the buildings and then, to use a GPS, data could then be added to a Google Earth overlay. Can you record this interview please? Uh, and who this was built for? It was built about 1480, at the time when Tenby was the largest port in Wales. On the third day, uh, we usually go down to a beach near Tenby called Manabia Bay. We, we wanted to actually go and explore in the rock pool to see if we can do some classification of the wildlife and the plant life. On the rocky shores. We actually thought it was going to be difficult to keep the children on, on task, but the Wild Key software actually captured their interest and the whole learning activity became a stimulated experience for, for the children. Is the shell tube like, hinged, domed, or snail like? S snail like? Okay. Is the shell conical and smooth, or flat and smooth? Panicorn smooth. That's right. Does it look like that? No. Okay, click the image then for more information. What is it then? Small periwinkle. A small periwinkle. It helps me remember a lot because we can record everything down because I've got awful memory and I can't remember anything.